Oh, what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is BTD and welcome back to something a little bit different now today what we're doing is doing a little review it won't be like a full in-depth review but just a little review on WRC 8 seeing as I believe I did one on WRC 6 or 7 it was one of the two and a lot of people came across it and thought it was actually quite good so I thought what I'll do is make a little one for this game just seeing as a lot of things have improved so let's get into this Right now. So let's start off with the good points about WRC 8 and we'll start off with the graphics. Now as you can see the gameplay hopefully is a lot better than it was in the last video I did on this that the graphics are extremely extremely better than it was in the game before seeing as we have a lot more depth of field we can see a lot more graphics inside the cars as well as predominantly the graphics of the, the stages are a lot better now especially if you go to somewhere like Wales. Um, and the stages along there you see the graphics are very very detailed with the trees and the mud and the rain and it just looks such a beautiful game now it's something i think they really focused on for this year and it is really really paid off for them so let's move on to the handling and the physics of the cars you know, so that's probably one of the most detailed and th more important things that they needed to focus on for this year and i'm very much 50 50 on it the cars feel good like you can properly race them but they're not perfect at all. Like if you play Dirt Rally um, and things like that, there is a significant difference, especially when you're using a wheel to uh, WRC 8. And I just think that at the minute, the game's still like very arcadey compared to it being a um, like a proper simulator, which I think they're hoping to get to. But at the moment, I'll still classify it as a, as an arcade game. Other good things are the career mode. Now, if you played the career mode in WRC 6, it is very, very similar to that, but they've just added some new features just to make it that little bit better. Now, in WRC 6 or 7, I just I still can't remember which one it is. Let's go with 7. Um, you would just have, you would start off in uh, WRC Juniors if you wanted to, then you'd move up to WRC 2, and then you'll progress up to the final one being WRC. Now, with this game, there's a little new features to it where you have now we have a calendar and every obviously every day is not going to be a rally day so you'll have the choice of doing manufacture testing or tryouts alongside testing and training which i think is actually very very good seeing as then you can test out your car and things like that and yeah it seems there's now you can race with like the, you can do historical events too where you can race the polo r which was used in 20 10 to 2014 i believe as well as other old classical cars like that which i think is really really good to bring into the game and they've also brought in the test area now i might throw up some clips of it now i'm not too sure what i'll be doing where you'll be able to take a car you can be wrc2 wrc wrc junior and just drive around this area where there's just cars and little things like jim Carner in a way and i think it's a really really good idea saying as you can then test what setup changes you make to your car and things like that and just a really really fun area when you don't really want to be doing competitive rallying a really really good idea moving on to the bad aspects of the game being the career mode and it being a little bit boring see i, I did notice um i know obviously i put in the good facts about it and all the new features that they've added but there's still just the thing of you start off in juniors you work your way up that's that there's no real like new thing put into it like with formula one with the new games that co-masters have done they've added like the interviews you can then do off all other things and it's just making it feel a bit more like it's you but i think what they could do in wrc is maybe add like the opening ceremony where you can attend that you can answer questions there you can talk to like becks and people like that which i think would be really really cool to add to the game and my final uh bad thing about the game but there's only two i've noted really so far seeing as i've been playing the game for a couple days now being the sound now if you went and looked at a wrc car in the flesh you would know that the cars are extremely extremely loud seeing as they're not hybrids or anything like that and they're just pure engine with a lot of drag and things like that whereas in the game they seem very toned down in the sound of them i'd like to hear a lot more of the anti-lag and a lot more like mechanical stuff going on with the engine and things like that where it just feels a bit more like they took the sample from the WRC 7 game and just used it again in their WR8 game, which I think they could really work on to improve it. But I have noticed a lot of changes, a lot of good changes and some that still need to be improved, but they are going along the right way in what they need to do this game. So I'm going to give the WRC 8 game a rating of around 7.5 out of 10. It's not perfect, but the game's definitely enjoyable. So yeah, if you have enjoyed this little 
insight into the W08 game, then please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to be notified when I next do an upload and all my other live streams. And if you have enjoyed it, leave a comment down below, let me know. And yeah, there'll also be a link down below if you want to come join my Discord and all that good stuff. But yeah, until the next time, guys, I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys later. But until then, peace.